Hi everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. Today I want to tell you about a pair of shorts that has quickly become probably my favorite, if not just one of my favorites. But I've had these shorts since the beginning of last summer, worn them quite a bit. Uh, they're from one of my favorite companies. So today we're going to talk about the Morse short from Taylor Stitch. The Taylor Stitch Morse short is an upscale short which falls into a category that I like to call chino shorts. Basically, looks like it could be a pair of dress pants cut off, so I, I call them chino shorts. But uh, they're made out of an 8-ounce organic cotton and linen blend, 65% organic cotton, 35% linen. This, of course, gives a lot of breathability, makes them quite light, uh, and actually adds quite a bit of strength, believe it or not. Um, they're very comfortable once they're worn in. They're a little stiff at first, but after a wash or two, they get a little bit less stiff. Uh, and just like with anything that's linen, you do get some of that creasing and wrinkling, which is, I think, okay. It gives linen and linen blend products kind of a unique sort of, uh, sort of character. They have an 8-inch inseam, which I think is a pretty nice sweet spot. It's not too long for shorter guys like myself and not too short for most taller guys. So I think it's probably a sweet spot there. Uh, the two websites, Taylor Stitch and Huckberry, that offer these have a couple different colorways. Over on the Taylor Stitch side, they have a oyster slub, a dried acorn slub, and a slate slub. So three different colors there. Uh, and then over on Huckberry, the only color that they share is the oyster slub. Huckberry also has a dark slate, which I have, and sand, which I have. One of the most important things about a short, especially one that costs this much, is being able to wear it with many different things. So I have some examples here. We're going to start with the sand colored short. Here with just a regular old t-shirt, this is a 45 t-shirt from Huckberry, and a pair of Sperry Topsider Gold Cup shoes in navy blue. Uh, very casual. And then here I call this my country club look, I'm wearing some Adidas Stan Smiths. Uh, with a tucked-in polo shirt from Built Basics. Uh, both the shoes and the polo shirt with the white and green, and the shorts go nicely with it. So moving on to the dark slate color. Here they are with a pair of burgundy loafers from Helm and a black v-neck from Mott & Bow. Uh, this one's an interesting one here. Kind of gives you a little bit of a dressed-up vibe while you're still wearing shorts. Yeah, you kind of have to squint to see that, though, but um, anyways, it's, a, it's still a pretty versatile example of what this kind of short can do. Moving on with a nice Taylor Stitch Jack short sleeve shirt with a uh, floral jacquard pattern and some Mohinder's woven buffalo leather slippers on the bottom. This is a more casual look, but still elevated up top. Uh, I wouldn't feel bad wearing this just about anywhere. And this one here, another Taylor Stitch Jack short sleeve shirt with some minimalist white sneakers. I believe these are New Republic Kurt sneakers, one of the best values, I think, in white sneakers. You know, they're made to get dirty and worn down, so don't pay a bunch for them. These ones, I think, are about 69 bucks. Okay, everybody, that's it. Just short and sweet today. There are uh, links in the description below, just as a reminder, if you want to check these out, either on the Taylor Stitch site for their colorways or on the Huckberry site for the ones that they have there. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will respond. I reply to all of the comments. Thanks a lot for taking the time today to watch. Have a great day.